Good afternoon, my name is Hee Han from Hanyang University in South Korea. Today, I want to introduce you about the ICRP Mesh Type Reference Phantoms that we are currently developing and share our user experiences of Gen4 with the implementation of these phantoms. In the field of radiological protection, computational human phantoms have been widely used to calculate those coefficients. And these computational human phantoms have been developed from very simple geometric forms to stylized phantoms and finally to voxel phantoms. The International Commission on Radiological Protection, in short the ICRP, also defines reference voxel type human phantoms and by using these phantoms they calculate and provide reference dose questions. These are the current voxel type reference phantoms for adult male and female described in ICRP publication 110. Most of the external and internal reference coefficients provided in ICRP publication 116 and 133 were also calculated by using these phantoms. This kind of voxel type reference phantoms have limitations due to the nature of their voxel structure and their voxel resolution, which are in the order of a few millimeters. For example, these phantoms cannot properly define small and thin organs or tissues such as skin, elementary and respiratory tract organs and lenses, whose doses are actually very important in the field of radiological protection. Because of this problem, for several dose calculation cases, which involve small and thin organs, the ICRP has been used additional CSG models. And these phantoms were also limited in that they are too difficult to be deformed into different body shapes or postures, and therefore they are confined in reference body shape in standing posture. Acknowledging these limitations, two years ago, the ICRP formulated Task 103 under the lead of Professor Chan Yong Kim, my advisor. The main object of this task group is to convert the current voxel type reference phantoms into high quality mesh formats. And recently, we have completed the conversion work for adult phantoms and the ICRP publication on these new adult reference phantoms will be released next year. This is a detailed view for the adult male phantom, and as you can see in this figure, all the organs were defined very realistically. And this is the figure for the adult female phantom. To be more specific, I'll briefly go through several features of the mesh type reference phantoms. First, we installed the detailed eye model developed by Barons by converting it into mesh format. These eye models are actually the one that have been used as the supplementary model for lens dose calculations by the ICRP instead of the poorly defined eye models in the voxel type reference phantoms. Second, we modeled 50 micrometer radiosensitive basal cell layer in the skin model, which means that now we can calculate skin doses in these target layers, just as recommended by ICRP publication 116. Similarly, we also included micron-scaled layers for source and target regions in elementary tract organs and in respiratory tract organs as well. For lungs, we modeled very fancy airway branches, which includes more than 50,000 of branches according to the anatomic structure of actual bronchi and bronchioles of human. And even in these branches, we included micrometer thick layers for source and target regions. Because of its extremely complicated structure, modeling the airway branch model in mesh format was almost impossible considering the huge memory space it may require. So for these branches, we used TSG model instead of polygon mesh format. I'll come back to this part later to explain this kind of multi-formatted structures. Also, thanks to the deformability of the mesh type phantoms, now we are developing phantom libraries for adult male and female, which includes about 250 different body shapes for each. These are the eight 
sample deformed adult male phantoms. Also by using the algorithms to deform mesh type geometries which are being widely used in animation movies, we are developing programs to change the posture of the mesh type reference phantoms according to the data obtained from motion capture system. These are the phantoms deformed into different postures. The capability of the mesh type reference phantoms to be easily deformed into different body shapes and postures implies their potentials to be used in other fields such as medical applications or those reconstruction for radiation accidents. Now I will show you how we are utilizing John 4 to implement this new polygon mesh type of phantoms. The mesh type reference phantoms were all developed in polygonal mesh format, which defines the surface of each region. However, when we implement them into Monte Carlo simulations, we don't use it as it is because this takes a lot of computation times. To avoid this, most of research teams voxelize them, but in this case, we need to face all the limitations of voxel phantoms again. So instead, we used the process called tetrahedralization, which is the process to simply fill the polygonal mesh format with tetrahedrons or tetrahedral mesh. We use tet and program for this, which you can easily download on the web, and this is free. Only by using just this tetrahedralization process, we could improve the Gen 4 simulation time about by about eight times while also preserving the detailed organs or tissue models of the phantoms. And this is the numerical data of the tetrahedralized mesh type reference phantoms. The height and weight were matched to the ICRP reference values. There are 48 organs for both, and there are 191 different regions, including all the source and target regions in each organ. What I would like to highlight here is this one, the number of the tetrahedrons. It is over 8 million and consequently the size of a SCIF file to define each phantom is over 400 megabytes. These numbers show that the phantoms are very elaborate models, but at the same time this means that it may take a long time for Monte Carlo simulations. We actually have tested these phantoms in MCMP, FIT, and Gen4, and among them, Gen4 showed definitely the best performance. And there were also some other features that are advantageous to the mesh type reference phantoms. I'll go through three main advantages of Gen4, which were especially helpful for us. First, in Gen4, it is much easier and faster to implement tetrahedral mesh format than in MCMP or FIT. MCMP or FIT requires pre-processing to convert the phantom files into supported format for each code, and this can take up to a few days in MCMP. However, in Gen4, we can simply use G4TAT class and there's no need to do any kind of pre-process since we can just put C++ code to implement the phantom files. This is the screenshot of a piece of our code and this shows the general way to implement tetrahedral mesh phantoms by simply using G4PV placement. However, in restricted cases, when we don't have any other geometry in the mother volume of the phantom, we can use parameterized geometry like this, and this takes 10 to 20 percent shorter runtime and less than half of initializations time in previous methods. Also, when we use G4PV placement class, we need about 10 gigabytes of memory for phantom implementation. But when you use parameterized geometry, we need only 5 gigabytes. Strength of Gen 4 is the parallel geometry. 
As I mentioned before, we constructed our phantoms in batch format, but our array branches in lungs we used CS2 format. This kind of combination is only possible in Java 4 thanks to the existence of parallel geometry. So for the dose calculation, we put mesh phantoms in real world and airway model in parallel world. Actually, this parallel world can be used very broadly in other similar applications. We are now expecting the newly developed ICRP mesh type reference phantoms to play a role as the platform phantom for various detailed organ models in different formats. For example, we can put microvoxel models of trabecular bone into the mesh type reference phantoms by implementing the bone model in real model, real world, and mesh phantoms in parallel world. In this way, we can incorporate any detailed organ models into the mesh format mesh phantom according to the purposes of those calculations. The third advantage of Gen 4 was its capability of 4D Monte Carlo simulation. By using parameterized geometry, we can calculate doses for moving phantoms, such as breathing phantoms or walking phantoms. Now this is the summary. We have developed ICRP mesh type reference phantoms, which defines even very small or thin organs in detail. For the dose calculations with these phantoms, Gen 4 is showing the best performance. Moreover, the concept of parallel world is also being great help to extend the applications of these phantoms by installing various detailed organ models. Plus, by using Gen 4, we could also calculate doses for moving phantoms, such as breathing or walking phantoms. In overall, this new mesh type phantoms show great performance and their applications are wide. And I could say that this is partly attributed to the features of Gen 4. Thank you.